Hey everyone, before we begin, I have an idea. I know you guys are from different parts of the world. Now, when you comment, positive or negative, yeah, when you bash me, please add your location. Like, thanks Dean, nice video from Italy, from Japan, from Peru. And if you are in a large country, just mention your city. Like, from Dallas, from Melbourne, Toronto, etc. Now, I received several requests to cover Hack the Box. And I've been planning to do this for the longest time because of their certifications. And yeah, they also have a very cool certification badges. They're also the pioneers in cybersecurity gamification. So, why not? I'm also interested in getting one or a few of their certifications. I know their most popular certifications are CPTS or Certified Penetration Tester Specialist and CBBH Certified Bug Bounty Hunter. Let's see if the modules are really good and if it's worth taking the courses and their certifications. Now, for penetration testing slash ethical hacking certifications, I'm more familiar with Offensive Security. Yeah, that organization who provides certifications such as OSCP, OSWA, OSWE, etc. So I'll be comparing Hack the Box certifications from Offensive Security certifications. I'm here now at Hack the Box official website. And uh, let's look for their certifications. If I hover my mouse, there you go, under products, we have courses and certifications. And uh, let me click this. Now I'm in HTB or Hack the Box Academy. So we have uh, this menu, certifications and path. I'm gonna click certifications. There, so we have Hack the Box certifications. And what do we have here? So this is probably their most, most popular certification, CPTS or Certified Penetration Tester Specialist. And how much? 490. What else? We have CBBH, or again, Certified uh, Bug Bounty Hunter. Uh, same price though, $490. And uh, one is 28 modules and the other is 20 modules. And I believe they have two more certifications. CDSA, Defensive Security Analyst. I'm not really interested because this is more of defensive side, not ethical hacking related. We also have a web exploitation expert or CWEE or, or a certified web exploitation expert, which is costing haha, a little, not a little, it's um, thrice the price or almost thrice the price. And uh, it only consists of 50 modules. But among, or among these four certifications, I am more interested with this one, CBBH because it's related to bug bounty hunting, which is, of course, related to web application penetration testing. And uh, what I will do is I'm gonna click learn more. I will open a new tab and there you go. Uh, towards your HTTP certified bug bounty hunter. And uh, let's see what are the certifications and prerequisite. So these are just some of the description of the certification. So it says entry level bug bounty hunters Junior web application penetration testers and web developers. These are the target audience. And um, what are the knowledge domains? Bug bounty process, application um, analysis, static and dynamic, information gathering techniques, web applications, API vulnerabilities, and reporting. And this is how the certification looks like. Now, I would like to really know what other things to do. Okay, prerequisites. Uh, these are the list of prerequisites. Knowledge around web application, web services. Um, yeah, we've seen this. We've seen this already. Let me go back from the previous page. Um, yeah, I, I believe this is the same uh, from the prerequisite. I want to get started, so I'm going to click get started link here. And it will redirect. <sighs> I don't, I still don't have an account, but I would like to know where to begin. Okay. I will click the certification steps. The first thing to do is complete the bug bounty hunter job role with, um, 100%. Okay. Completing 100%, uh, then get an exam voucher, which we already know it's 490 us dollars 
enter the exam, hunt the bugs, upload your report, and obtain your results. So basically, complete the courses, the modules, and uh, um, take the exam. Of course, you need to get an exam voucher. You have to pay for it. Each exam voucher includes two attempts, which is not so bad. So if you fail the first attempt, you have another attempt. You have another chance of passing the exam. Right now, here's what we need to understand. Complete the bug bounty hunter job role path. If I click this tab, this is the bug bounty hunter job role path. And this includes all of this module. Is this a module or a course? Okay, so these are modules. So we have web requests, introduction to web applications using web proxies, information gathering, which is AKA reconnaissance, attacking web application with FFOF, which I already created a video about this like a year ago. JavaScript, the obfuscation, process scripting, SQLI, SQL map, command injection, server side, uh, brute force broken identifications, web attacks, uh, API attacks, hacking WordPress, bug bounty hunting process. I think this is not so difficult. I mean, I can pass this. The only question is how long will be my preparation? Um, so this is what we need to complete the bug bounty job role path. Now, if I click back, uh, if I go back to this page and if I click this path, there are many paths here. And I would assume the paths are related to the certifications. So it just so happened that, okay, so if I click job role paths, this is the bug bounty hunter job role path, which is um, a total of 268 sessions, excuse me, sections. We have the penetration tester, which is uh, associated to the CPTS. So analyst, which is a, a related to the other certification and again another uh, path related to um c what's that uh certified web exploit expert c w e e and this one i don't think there is a certification for this path okay active directory penetration tester anyway uh, we're more interested with these which we've already saw some of the details which is basically these are the modules um, that is included with this path. Um, we've seen this one already, um, but I just realized there are rewards per modules, okay? Some rewards are 10, some rewards are 20 points. Anyway, so, um, yeah, so we have to take this course first. The question is how much? Because if the exam voucher is already 490 US dollars, um, I would like to know how much would I pay for this courses. And uh, we need to create the Hack the Box account. I, I will use my LinkedIn. Uh, I'll, no, I will not use my LinkedIn. I will just use... All right, I will add my username, my country, my date of birth, and I will click all of this tick box. It says network error. Why is that? All right, there you go. All right, so um, I believe this is a free trial, but I would like to know how much would I pay. So HDB Academy, this is it, right? All right, so I need to complete the steps. Like, these are just user information. I will say student. And hold on, not student. I will. Uh, um, okay, I will select information security consultant. Yes, I'm going to click continue. And years of experience. Uh, 
I would say proficient four to six years or experience. Okay, six to eight years. I'm gonna click continue and uh, your interest application security network penetration testing all right all of these um and cloud security operation anything related to application security and cloud security and network security i just clicked huh i cannot click network security engineering anymore okay i think i'm good finish onboarding there so i'm already here in my dashboard the question is how can i um all right so i went to the exam and uh, here are the four certifications again we're more interested with cbph um it says here bug bounty job role so how how to get there? My goal is to... Okay, so these are the modules. And the first module is related to web. Uh, what was the first module again? Web request. There you go. So, I'm going to click this. Uh, if I click this, where will it take me? You know, seriously, I'm not interested with a free trial. I'm still in free trial. I want to pay and I would like to know how much would I pay for my preparation. Okay, so this is it. This is the first module or the first course. It says web request. Now, I would like to start, but let's just continue this um, first module web request on another video. Among all the hack the box certifications available, I am more interested with CBBH or Certified Bug Bounty Hunter, though it sounds misleading, don't you think? Because personally, you will only be considered Certified Bug Bounty Hunter if you have already received Bug Bounty Rewards. So this involves not just skills and knowledge, but also experience as a Bug Bounty Hunter. Anyway, I'm not a big fan of the process. I think it would be better if there is an option where we just buy the certification plus all of the courses plus all of the labs you need to pass the exam as a single package. This is exactly how offensive security subscription works for their lab exams and materials. So what do you think? Comment below if you have any questions and don't forget to hit the like button.